So now on the left hand side of the screen, the only thing you need to worry about is up here at the top, right here, where it says profiling display. So once we click that, we've got some stuff on the left hand side, which you really shouldn't need to worry about. And on the right hand, in fact, what I'm going to do right now, as you can see, I can change that size so that, that that assets over here on the left is something we really don't need. So now this screen is pretty typical of, of what we're going to find. And each step of the process is shown across the bottom here. And you'll see that it goes from display settings to profile settings and patch sets and so on and so forth. And so let's start with this one here. I, as I mentioned, I have two monitors and I'm on the MacBook Pro at the moment. Uh, I don't need to select, it says here at the top, select your display and technology type. If you have two monitors, then it's going to show both of them. Generally speaking, whatever monitor this software is on is the one it's going to profile if you're ever in doubt you can click and it'll you can see that it's it's on the proper monitor right now i would leave everything else down here all these controls down here at default here's some important stuff you need to pay attention to white point the very very first thing you want to change is you go into this and these are starting points and i talk about starting points for these three parameters which are white point luminance and your gamma so i'm going to suggest that you start and i talk about starting point of course in the notes check that out later on just go to daylight temperature and put 5500 in here 5500 and i'll highlight that for you under luminance generally speaking most people's monitors right off the shelf are way too cool about 6500k and way too bright about 200 what's called lumens so i'm going to go here to custom and i'm going to choose 110 to start and that's usually a pretty good place to start tone response curve just leave it at standard and leave your gamma at 2.2 there are some other things in here i suggest strongly that you do not click these and stay with the manual route now, once you've set these parameters, and we've got the three parameters, we've got the color temperature, we've got luminance, and we've got gamma. Once we have those, then we're ready to go to the next step. Two ways you can do it. The easiest way is over here on the right-hand side. You've got an arrow that says next. You can also, if you want, click within the workflow to go to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just to simplify things, use the next button.